Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your January love read. This will be for all signs of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, please know that these are the most needed messages in the love department for January. So this will not resonate with every Taurus. If it does not resonate with you, please go check out your other sign videos located here on my channel. These are energies that I'm reading, so you can put yourself wherever it resonates best for you in the reading. All right, so without any further ado, all my disclaimers are in the description box, as well as this timestamps, because I will be doing singles first and then couples. All right, okay, so let's get on with it. So Taurus, what do you have going on in love? Let's see what my Taurinians have going on in the love department. Taurus singles, my guides, my spirit, my soul, family, and guides of Taurus. What is going on with Taurus singles? What is the most needed message? Okay, so we've got separation. Some of you might be coming off a separation. Um, either you recently split up or you're still hung up about the separation that you've had with a partner. Let's see if I can get another message. Do we have any other messages? Most need messages for the single Tauruses. They always like to fall on the floor. Children. Your love life is being affected by your children. So, what this is telling me as single Taurus is that, is that recently you have come off a separation with somebody, with your partner. Um, you may have had kids together or you may have had kids separately. Um, but whatever the case may be here, children were a big factor in this um, relationship. And it's like you didn't see eye to eye. And because of that, it's like they conquered and divided you. Um I do feel like the children were a main um, fighting factor between you and this person that you were current that you were currently with. So this is going. This is the message for Taurus who has um, who has had a relationship and had recently separated. Um, I'm sorry, that's what they're giving me. So um, yeah. This may not resonate with you if you've been separated for a while, although it could. Although it could. All right, so let's break this down with the tarot. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, with the single Tauruses. What is the most needed message here? Please and thank you, my soul family. Taurus for January 2020 in love, the single one. Single Taurus's most needed message for January. Please and thank you, my soul family. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. I feel like you love this person with all of your heart. You might still be in pain from the separation as well, is what I'm getting. I'm getting really sad, depressive energy. Um, the overall uh, situation for, or the over, the underlying um, energy for your love, for love, for you, for January is the Knight of Swords. So some type of new truth coming about or new truth coming in. Um, this might change your mind on certain things. Um, I feel like this is new truth coming in on a lie of the past. Um, something being brought up from the past, it's going to t bring you out of your time of mourning, I feel, and I feel like you should trust your intuition when this comes in. There is love, I see, down, uh, later on for you down the road, but there is some type of truth coming in around a lie of separation here. Um, whatever lie you thought was there, I feel like there's some truth coming in about it. It's going to make you change your mind. It's going to give you a whole new perspective on this thing. Um, for some of you, I do feel like this is truth about a lie that the person that you separated from 
it's like you finally know the whole truth. You know, the whole situation of the lie is what I'm getting. And it's going to help you move on further. It's going to help you heal. It's going to bring that healing element. You are in the page of swords-like energy. So you have some of the information, but not all of the information here. There's something around children and a lie, lie about children that caused a separation here is what I'm feeling. And it's like you didn't know the whole truth, but the whole truth is going to come in for you this month. Uh, the other person in the love situation. Okay. So it could either be a person or it could just be love in general. And we've got the 10 of swords. So this is much healing needed healing energy coming in for you. I feel like, um, there isn't a prospect in love for you right now because you need to heal. All right. What's between you and the prospect of lodge is, is judgment. So this is all in divine timing. This is answering the voice of your soul. This is you really getting back to who you are, who you truly are, the truth of yourself. What's coming in underneath this page of swords is the star. So this is, like I said, you know, and it's catty corner um, judgment. So I feel like there's divine timing at work here. There's things that you need to heal from. Um, this was written in your stars. Whatever this was that separated you, it had to happen because it's helping you grow. But I do feel like there is some new information coming in about this lie. It's like you're finally going to get the whole truth of this lie. Um, coming in underneath the Ten of Swords is the King of Pentacles. So this is your card, Taurus. This is your card. So it's like you healing, you needing to get back to who you truly are. You need to feel back in your element. And I feel like by the end of January, you are. I feel like January is going to be a very healing month for you. Coming in underneath the judgment, we've got the five of cups. Yeah, so you're tired of the heartache. You're tired of the pain. You're tired of... Um, like in normal decks, this would be like hanging on, clinging on to loss. But in this deck, you see, she's kind of looking away at, both, at all of those cups and she's like, I'm done with it. I'm not holding on to you. She's not even crying in the picture. She's done with it. It's like you finally answering the, the voice of your soul. You finally moving on. You finally getting past that pain. And I feel like you're going to do that when that information comes in, when that whole why is exposed like you might have just bits and pieces of the truth of this lie but you don't know the whole thing and i feel like you're going to get it you're going to receive it this month all right so let's get some um advice for you spirit guides of taurus my guys my soul family what is what advice can we offer taurus about this situation for january what advice can we offer single Taurus about this situation in January? Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Yeah, you need to take time to process. What I'm getting with this card is you need to take time to process this information. You really need to methodically think it through. Um, this is something where... I feel like you're going to have to go inward a lot to um, remove those swords out of your back. I do feel like you were stabbed in the back. Uh, expand your horizons, vast vistas. So this is really like looking at the entirety of the situation, um, looking at the whole truth of the situation. And it's like it's going to take some time for it to settle in for you to um, get over it. But you need to expand. You need to be willing to accept the information that's coming in about this situation. All right, single Taurus. Well... I'm sorry that there's no new love on the horizon, but this is good. This is healing for you. So January is going to be about healing. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful January and um, please take care and I will see you in my next video. Hi, coupled Tauruses. This is your January love horoscope for 2020. Um, please uh, keep in mind that you can put yourself however you resonate best in this reading. All right. And these will not be for everybody. 
Um, if, they, if, if it doesn't resonate with you, then go check out your other side videos located here on my channel. All right, we're going to hop right into it. Spirit, guides of Taurus. What do coupled Tauruses need to know the most? What is the most needed message for coupled Tauruses? This one wanted to come out, but it flew back in, so I didn't really get a ding off of it. Soulmate, some of you are dealing with your soulmate and wedding, and wow. All right, what do we got here? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then we've got soulmate right here. Um, yes, this is your soulmate. So you need to stay optimistic about this. If you've been having any doubt or any negative thought about it, you need to kick that negative thought to the curb. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. Um, what this situation involves a marriage. Um, I also got deception, but I feel like this is past deception. And I feel like that's why they're telling you to stay optimistic about your love life, because I feel like this is your soulmate and whatever deception there was in the past, I feel like that's being, the karma has been cleansed. It has been cleared. If you have been working on your marriage, if you have been working on your marriage, I feel like this, you need to stay optimistic about it. This is the person that you're meant to be with. Whether you cause the deception or they cause the deception, there's no more deception involved is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you need to stay optimistic about optimistic about it like I said this is your soulmate so um I feel like this deception is past is in the past and I feel like you're finally moving on all right so let's break it down with the tarot we'll get I'll know more once I see more <laughs> and once they speak more I heard a loving soul union, a loving soul union. So I feel like there's going to be some day in January where you are going to connect with your soulmate, with the person that you're with right now. And it's like you've clear, you're clearing the air and it's like those heart to heart or that heart to heart is like it automatically lets you know gives you that optimistic and, and puts that trust and faith in you in this um, situation here I feel like if this is your partner that um, deceived you if your partner deceived you they didn't they didn't mean to hurt you they didn't mean to for it to happen um, they might have made it happen, but they didn't mean for, for it to get out of hand is what I heard. It got out of hand somehow, somehow it got out of hand and they, they didn't mean it. So that could either be you or that could be your partner that I'm hearing right now. Um, but they didn't mean it. It got out of hand. They never wanted to hurt you <laughs> and they have true love for you. All right, so one more shuffle, and then I'll cut for you, Taurus. Your underlying energy for love is the Knight of Swords. You know, the other single, I think the single Taurus has got this as their underlying energy as well. So if you've been considering yourself single lately, but you're still with your partner, um, there's going to be some truth coming out. There's going to be, um, and I feel like it's truth around the deception. You finally getting um, all the truth of it, but bravely going forward and dropping that burden. You're starting a new cycle. Um, the pain is being lifted here. You're, you've been working very hard um, on this. You've done a lot of meditating, but it's like your karmic justice is now being righted. Um, yeah, so you need to stay optimistic about it, okay? Because this is um, new information coming in, new, new forms of communication with your partner. I feel like... Um, I feel like it's somebody in coming to give you the truth. It could be a Gemini. 
definitely very well could be a Gemini that you're dealing with or you're the Gemini, you have Gemini in your chart. But whatever the case may be, the truth about this deception is coming to light, the full truth. You are in the Nine of Cups energy in January. So you feel very fulfilled by your partner. You feel very in love with your partner. This Your partner um, has given you everything that you need. It's like you feel like your roots are with this partner. Your partner is in the Nine of Swords energy. Your partner is awake. Your partner is scared. Your partner has a lot of anxiety about what the future between you two. Um, like I said, this could either be you deceived them and they're afraid that you are going to continue on doing it. Or um, they deceived you and they're afraid about bringing this truth to light. Um but this is past deception that you know about. That's what I am getting. It is past deception that you know about. But they are um, still, it's like they can't forgive themselves, even though you might have forgiven them. They can't forgive themselves. They have a lot of anxiety, though. They have a lot of anxiety. They're up at night. But I feel like whatever the deception is here, whether it's you deceiving them or them deceiving you, um, the truth is going to come out. We've got the seven of swords underneath of you. So you might be the deceiver here. It might be you finally um, admitting to all the wrongdoing that you have done in the past. Or this is you being in denial about whatever information has come up from the past. It's like you take what you want from the situation, but you don't give anything else any other thought is what I'm getting off of this. I feel like... I feel like for you, Taurus, I feel like you'd rather just be in the happy mode and forget about whatever past mistakes or whatever past wrongs there were. So you're kind of like lying to yourself about the fact that there was past wrongs. But they're saying you need to bring this up because it's only giving your partner anxiety, your partner worry, your partner still feels like there's something that they need to know. I do feel like it's going to come to light in January. I do feel like that. Um, underneath them, they have the Six of Cups. So this is your soulmate. This is somebody that has been around um, a while with you. It could be a, it could be the father or mother of your child. Um, but I do feel like this is a soul tie, a soul bond that you have with this person. You know what? This actually, this goes right here in between you two. Yeah. Okay, so there was some lie or deceit in between you two. I don't know why I put that underneath yours. It could be signaling me that you are, because, you know, I did say that you are, um, that you might be denying the degree of this deception because you want it to be happy. But you are the, the Six of Cups. You are coming out as the Six of Cups here. And the Nine of Cups. So... Um, you are this, your person's soulmate. You guys are each other's soulmate. You do have kids. I feel like some of you do have kids together. Um, but I do feel like this is a past life relationship that you have with this person. Underneath them, they have the six of swords. Moving on, moving away, moving past. It could be that they move past the situation with you. It says stay optimistic up here about your love life. So it could be that they're moving away from this anxiety. They're moving away from this deception. They've had enough of it. And I feel like that's going to happen when the truth comes out. Um, underneath the seven of swords, we got the knight of wands. We've got the knight of wands here. So this is like a brand new passion, a brand new start. It's like, you know, something coming in for your, you got two nights here. So I think truth, the truth of the matter, the full truth of the matter, I feel like is going to come out. And I feel like because it does come out, it's like your partner can fully start moving away from whatever deception was there in the past. And it's like, you're, it's like, you're both moving on to a whole new passion. It's like your relationship is moving to a new level is what I'm feeling wise passion wise. But that's what I'm getting for you. So let's see what the advice is here for you, Taurus. 
spirit. My guides, what advice do we have for the couple Tauruses in this situation? Please and thank you. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Yeah, so I feel like once this once this truth comes out, it might come out in the beginning of January, but once it comes out, everything's smooth sailing after that. It's like, I feel like you're afraid to face this deception is what I feel. And I feel like you're, because you're afraid to face it, your partner is very anxious about it. Okay. But in order to get them to move on, you need to let this um, information come to light. And then just go with the flow because after that, it's like once they hear it, then they can move on from it. And that deception is no longer a part of your relationship. It's like they can heal from it and they're not anxious or upset about it. All right. You need to stay optimistic. This is your soulmate. You guys aren't married or are going to be getting married. So let's see if I if they have any more advice for you. We've got discovering the truth you stand in the light of the truth so yeah this is like i said a truth coming out um in january around that deception and then wise leader um you are a beacon for others so it's like you guys fixing your relationship here and you guys standing strong and staying together in the light of the truth and going with the flow of things it's like people are looking at your relationship and how you overcome certain things and it's like they want to follow in the same footsteps with their own relationships. All right. So this is good for you, Taurus. This is good for you, Taurus. Let the truth out. Let the truth come out. Let it be. And then you will see. It, it will be better. Stay optimistic about your love life. All right, well, that's all I'm getting um, for you, Taurus. If this resonated, please give it a like. Please comment below. Sometimes I get uh, messages from Spirit when I read your comment, um, additional messages. Also, subscribe. Um, I would love to have new subscribers, new members to my community. Um, until I, I hope your January goes amazing. And until I see you in my next video, I hope you all.